Let's simplify the expression 6 and 1 fifth add 3 and 4 fifths. Today we are going to use the improper fraction method to do this. The first step is to write your expression 6 and 1 fifth add 3 and 4 fifths. Next convert your mixed number to improper fractions. 6 and 1 fifth you would multiply your denominator 5 by the whole number 6. Next you would add that product to 1. This sum would be written over 5. Your improper fraction is 31 fifths. The syntactically correct way to express 6 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction would be to first multiply 5 times 6 and then add 1. This is over 5. Your improper fraction is 31 fifths. Why do we do all these steps? Let's step back and take a look. When we rewrite 6 and 1 fifth as an improper fraction, we are expressing 6 and 1 fifth in terms of fifths only. Each whole number is divided into fifths. Here you can see each rectangle being cut into 5 fifths, which is an equivalent form of 1. This happens 6 times, creating a total of 30 fifths. Since our original mixed number was 6 and 1 fifth, we can't forget to add the fraction 1 fifth. From our mixed number, 1 fifth plus 30 fifths equals 31 fifths. Now that's finished, let's go back to our original expression. 6 and 1 fifth add 3 and 4 fifths. We saw that 6 and 1 fifth is equivalent to 31 fifths. We also explained why this was. We now need to express 3 and 4 fifths as fifths. Again, do this, we would multiply the denominator 5 and the whole number 3. Take that product and add it to the numerator 4. Your improper fraction will be 19 fifths. Now that our terms are improper fractions expressed as fifths, we will add the numerators only. Why the numerators? Because they are part of a fraction which tells us how many fifths we have. Once we've done that, we should have a sum of 50 fifths. We will now simplify the improper fraction 50 fifths. Divide 50 by 5 to get an answer of 10. Why divide 50 by 5? When you simplify 50 fifths, you are finding how many fifths are in 50. 1 can be expressed as 5 fifths, 2 is equivalent to 10 fifths, 3 could be rewritten as 15 fifths, and so on. Therefore, 10 is equivalent to 50 fifths. Simplifying the expression 6 and 1 fifth plus 3 and 4 fifths using an open number line. You would first write the expression and draw your number line. Next, you would place 6 and 1 fifth on the far left of the number line. Why the left side? Because you are adding, and when you add on a number line, you move toward the right. The next step is to jump or add 3 from your 3 and 4 fifths. You will land on 9 and 1 fifth. Then add the 4 fifths. Your sum will be 10. We believe using an open number line is more visible than adding using the traditional method. Another way you can simplify the expression 6 and 1 fifth plus 3 and 4 fifths is by decomposing. First write down the expression. Next decompose it. It will become 6 plus 1 fifth plus 3 plus 4 fifths. Add the whole number 6 and 3 to get 9. Add 1 fifth and 4 fifths to get 5 fifths or 1. Add those together to get 10. This method is faster than drawing an open number line but not as visual. Now you are done and have successfully simplified the expression 6 and 1 fifth add 3 and 4 fifths using multiple methods. I'm Drew. And I'm Jared. Thanks for watching. <laughs>